We're with uh, Yes live and acoustic on Deep Tracks here in our performance studio one. So who wants to tell us about the decision to finally put that song in the show? It's been a long, long time. <laughs> and maybe why uh, you've denied us this pleasure all well, these years. I don't know. It's which, which one? Uh, uh, South Side of the Sky. Yeah, South Side of the Sky. Well, we didn't have Rick in the band who could play it, you see. He played all the middle bits. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to shorten yeah, it up. I have to, I have to own up. We, we did it in the studio. We never ever, ever did it on stage, so it was like twice actually. But yeah, but never did the Lee middle. Abrams never did the, never did the middle bit. <laughs> I never did the middle of the problem. And uh, it was amazing. It, uh, after thirty years, you know, I, I thought this is going to be really really hard to remember what I played, and, and I sat down, uh, and it was. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Like riding a bike. It, it, but the amazing thing was, I, I got in the rehearsals. I got close. To getting, and I thought, well, that's that's probably close enough, and it'll it looks. I couldn't work out one little bit, and then um, we w when we came to do the first show, which was a warm up at EMP, we played it, and it was where that sort of mental library kicks in, and amazingly enough, I, I played it as I'd had done in 1972, so it was like a recall that brought brought it back. Mental recall. Absolutely, <laughs> Rick. Let me ask you, what's the uh, what was your learning curve on some of the newer yes stuff that you were not involved with that you're doing on this tour? Um, well, I, I really enjoyed working on the on the magnification. I bought the album when it came out. And I really I really enjoyed it. And the interesting <laughs> thing, I, yeah, no, nobody sends me anything. I have to buy this stuff. <laughs> and uh, and uh, what I enjoyed doing was because there are actually no keyboard parts, was taking the orchestral score and making a keyboard part out of it. You know. Um, because uh, you know I like making orchestral sounds, so it was just great to be able to get all the different things from from sort of woodwinds to you know to the brass section to even down to marimbas and things on some of the some of the tracks. It's hard. To, it's very hard to play, um, not technically hard to play, but concentrating hard because you're changing from instrument and sound all all the time. So you really have to sort of be on your wits. But it, I, I, I enjoy doing that. I mean, I've always enjoyed playing yes stuff, that even the stuff that I've, I've not been on right from the early days of you know of yours, you know, disgrace and perpetual change and all of those. Um, cause it's just great music to play, and it doesn't matter whether you write it or not. Um, I mean, in the early days of yes, the Beatles stuff, you know, if there's good good tunes, you can make good arrangements and good things out of it. You know, it's it's it's. I've never been precious about what I what I play on and what I don't play on. So uh, now that this band is back together in a configuration that a lot of people truly appreciate and love, uh, is there longevity here? Is there a new uh, album that you guys are talking about? Where are you going to go with this? In the future, there's lots of things, but you know we're not pinning it all down yet because we've you know we've got touring and Rick Sandy just just rejoined us, yeah. And so we've got you know a lot of things we're going to go through and a lot more dates we're going to do, and uh, then we'll eventually get round to a record uh, at the end of next year, we believe. What else do we have today? Being we're uh, kind of flying along by the seat of our pants here acoustically. John, no, what do you got in mind here? Well, <laughs> Steve's next. Oh, I'm next in the uh, hot seat. Well, maybe. Yeah, we thought we might do something from ta from tales, right? Yeah. You okay then. Me? Go for it, Steve. All right then. Go for it, Steve. Go for right. it, mate. Hot. Go for it now. Right. 